Yo, what's good guys, Witness 2K back with another video. I'm grinding all-time domination right now, but I wanted to quickly make a video for you guys because I've had a lot of people want to know sort of a good budget squad they can put together and I have a pretty solid squad that you can put together without spending one dollar. Now starting off, obviously we have these tokens. Now 2k pretty much revolves around these tokens now this is what people are grinding to get other tokens i will be making a video when i'm finished all time domination explaining how i got my tokens and how many i got it is a ridiculous number you do not want to miss that if you are not sub to the channel make sure you do that right now now obviously you have to grind in the game. You, you, you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to get a good team if you do not grind. You can't. I can't just snap my fingers. You got a gold squad. It doesn't work like that. You got to grind, and to get tokens, obviously, you can play in the triple threat mode. You can play in the domination. You can go online. My team unlimited triple threat online. You keep that up, and your tokens are going to build. You're going to get a lot of tokens. Now, with these rewards. I'm not gonna do, not gonna worry about these emeralds. You don't want emeralds on your team. It's these are just, they're, they're duds. You do not want emeralds on your team. They're just not gonna provide what you need. These are the main three we're gonna be looking at, and I'll give some pointers on which diamonds you should get if you're that high up and you can grind that high up. This video is for pretty much people that didn't pre-order the game. You know, they're just getting started onto the game, or they're not then then they're, they're, they're new to 2K. So starting off. We're going to start off with the point guard though, which actually does not come from them. As soon as you start the game, if you go to collector's level, the first card you get a hundred, you collect a hundred cards, you get this Daniel Gibson. So we're going to chuck him into a lineup. So here is the squad. It is pretty solid. At the point guard, you have Daniel Gibson for collecting 100 cards. That is not a lot of cards. That is very doable, especially after you get your team pack when you first start the game and with domination and things like that you'll be able to get a hundred cards easy no problem you can pick up this Daniel Gibson who is a really good point guard his three-point shooting he's better than Stephen Curry the amethyst is Stephen Curry open shot 3 to 93 contested shot 393 and off the dribble 3 is a 92 that is something you want to add in your team is shooters you need shooters because defense is hard to get around so if you got a man open you want to let it fly next we have eddie jones now eddie jones is a ruby card from the rewards from the reward token market and i didn't know how good he was but he only cost 12 tokens again you do have to grind to get these tokens i didn't realize how good he was um obviously i'm not into rubies on my squad at the moment but this Eddie Jones has a 91 open shot three, and that just goes back to saying the same thing. You need shooters on your team, because when someone's open, you gotta shoot it. Next up is this Bernard King at small four. I run him on my squad at the moment, and you get him for completing fantasy domination. If you, when you grind through it, it is, it is worth the grind. Trust me, domination is definitely worth the grind. But this Bernard King, I was looking at his um, stats, and he doesn't got a very good three-point shooting, but his mid-range is in the 93s, and after using him and playing with him for a while, he I don't think I've missed a mid-range with him. He is insane, and he's definitely worth it, and he can dunk on anybody, and that is not an exaggeration. He can dunk on anybody, and something I found very helpful in 2K is big men who can block and get rebounds, because when people come inside, obviously you don't want people scoring on you so i picked up dennis rodman who is in the token market for 12 tokens and his rebounding is in the 93 box out 93 try and look for his block an 86 block that is solid for a ruby so he's definitely a good card to have and this card right here minute bowl i think he's insane insane he i've got like diamonds and amethyst on my team he used to be my center still I only just replaced him, but he used to still be my center. He is so freaking good. Look at his legs. His legs are huge. Now, his stats, they're nothing crazy. Hasn't got a mid-range. He's got a little bit of a three-point shot. You know, he's got an 80 standing dunk. He doesn't even have the jump, and he dunks it. You know, his blocks are 92, which is good. His rebounding's like, they're nothing crazy. But if you look at his height... He is seven foot seven. No one can score on him. Like it's, it isn't 
an option. If someone comes at him at the rim, it's an easy block or it's a contested shot so the ball doesn't go in. He's such a good card to have and he can score over anyone. So now we make our way to the bench. Now, when you put your bench on, you don't want to struggle. So this really, you could just switch this because this is another really good lineup. We have this reward token, Jeff Petrie or whatever his name is. I have never even heard of this man, but I checked out his stats and he is pretty decent from three and from mid range. He can shoot and he's a point guard, so he can pass the ball as well. But that's the same with this Gail Goodrich as well. He's a really good shooter. So he's an open shot three of a 92. Then we have Scotty Pippen, who obviously isn't the best shooter, but he's a player that can take it inside for you, draw the foul. Because you definitely need to get your free throws up. It's a great way to win. And we have the Dirk Nowinski who can shoot the mid, shoot the three, great in the post, he got a 94 post fadeaway. And then we have Mark Eaton, and this is for grinding the um, regular domination. And it's the same with the Manu Bowl, like he's seven foot four, like this man is huge. No one is scoring over the top of him. He's an absolute beast. His stats in the, re in the block is a 94, and he's, he's actually got really good rebounding stats as well. So no one's out rebounding Mark Eaton. So just a short, quick video, guys, giving you my opinions on some cheap cards because it, this costs me no money. This whole squad, it's got rubies, sapphires, diamonds, amethysts. Like, it is a really good squad. It cost me zero dollars. You just have to grind the game. And what's the point of getting the game if you're not going to grind it? So definitely grind it, grind domination, triple threat, my team unlimited. It's definitely worth it. But thank you for watching the video, guys. And of course, we're going to shout out one person. And today we have... Mustafa Khaled. I think I pronounced that right. But thank you for always commenting, bro. I know you got your notifications on, so thank you for that. If you want to shout out in the next video, make sure you're commenting on this video with your chance for a shout out. Don't forget to subscribe, notifications on, and leave a like. Till next time, it's been witnessed.